concept that evolved in India and now I brought it here at Florida Tech. It is a show where I'll bring in guests from Florida Tech, local people and alumni, students, and we'll get to know them on a personal level. We'll get to know what they like, what they d dislike, something that we didn't know before. It's a very personal show and it's all full of entertainment, fun, enjoyment and laughter. And all this will be over a steaming hot cup of coffee. Welcome to Coffee with Kevin. first guest for my very first episode is someone who led Florida Tech into a new era of high tech with the human touch and now he wants to take Florida Tech to a new level. It is my honor and my privilege to have a man of such stature. Please welcome Dr. Anthony James Catneys, the president of our university. <laughs> Hello, Kevin? how are you? Terrific. It's great Thanks. to have you here. Please have a seat. <laughs> well, thank you for inviting me to your premier show. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm it, it is, as I said, it's an honor to have you here. It's definitely something uh, I would like to start the show with is someone, a man who mm. I look up to, all the students look up to, in fact, and mm. who actually leads from the front, as they say. So it's really nice to have you here. So let's relax over a cup of coffee and yeah, have thank a little you. talk. You excited? <laughs> you bet. I love your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so Tell us a little bit about your childhood, where you're from, and you know, uh, your high school years. Well, uh, I grew up uh, in uh, New Jersey, in New Brunswick, which was a college town. It was uh, where Rutgers University is located. And I went to Rutgers University uh, uh, in civil engineering. And then I sort of migrated to transportation planning and city planning. And then we had an interesting thing in those days called the draft. So uh, spent a little time uh, in the army. And then I uh, worked for the state of New Jersey for a while. And then went on to New York University for a master's degree in, in urban planning. And then to the University of Wisconsin for a PhD in uh, urban planning, operations research, and uh, land economics. I was very interested in seeing if mathematical modeling, uh, computer simulations could solve urban problems, especially transportation, which was my real interest, and then urban development as well. Your major is pretty new uh, to Florida Tech, as mm -hmm. we don't have such a major here directly. We have civil engineering, but urban development is not that uh, prevalent here. So, you know, tell us a little bit about that major, you know, how that led to your career to becoming an administrator in universities. You're right. Uh, we have some fields that are close uh, to, to what I studied. Um, and certainly there are many parts of civil engineering that we have on campus. Uh, Professor Constantino, for example, uh, offers a, a lot of coursework in transportation planning and urban planning. And then over in uh, DMES, we have a lot of work in coastal zone management, which for Florida is becoming uh, more and more important. And we have a brand new program starting this year in construction management. Oh. Uh, we're very excited about that. Uh, one of my hopes is as we move ahead, uh, I'd like to, us to develop a program in urban development, urban planning. Uh, okay, so tell us in your college life, this is the more serious part of the college we just talked about, but let's talk about the fun part that uh, everyone experiences, their mm -hmm. college life. Tell us a little bit what you did for stu you know, uh, in your pastime besides doing your studies. What, was your, uh, what were your activities? Well, those were different times, as you know, <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm almost hesitant to admit this, but uh, in those days... Uh, they had freshman football, so if you were a freshman, you couldn't play on varsity or JV. You had to play on the freshman team. Um, in those days, they had early rush for fraternities. So I had actually become a member of the uh, Rutgers freshman football team 
pledged a fraternity and had played in a football game before I ever took a class at Rutgers University. <laughs> so those were different times. Uh, we don't do that uh, anymore. So um, you talked about you pledged for a fraternity. Tell us a little bit about your Greek life. Uh, I thought it was a very valuable part of my college life. Uh, as I say, starting from the very beginning and lasting uh, all four years. I, I did graduate in four years, I should make that <laughs> point. Uh, I thought it was very uh, important for me in, in my development. Uh, I was a little bit younger uh, than the other freshmen. I, I was 17 uh, when I started school, so I think the maturity, ma uh, maturity of uh, some of the uh, brothers in my house helped out a lot. And we had a lot of engineers in my fraternity so it, it helped me in, in studying especially some of the tough courses that we all still deal with, uh, like calculus and uh, physics. Uh, so it was helpful. I, I got a lot of help uh, in, in those courses from my, my fraternity brothers. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, so um, besides Greek life and, uh, you know, your academic um, focus on your academics, you know, every child has a goal, you know, when they grow up. I, first they start with, I want to become an astronaut, and then mm -hmm. they moves on and it develops into something mm -hmm. more concrete. Mm -hmm. So what was your first goal, if you can remember that, you know, what was your first goal you thought you wanted to become? Cowboy. <laughs> I, want, I want to be a cowboy. A cowboy. I did. still do. <laughs> still, uh, oh, well, that was my <laughs> second question. Do, do you still want to become a cowboy? That's definitely... No, it's been, funny. I, uh, it, I've always romanticized the American West, and I've always thought what a wonderful life that would be as a cowboy. Of course, I never got anywhere near that. Uh, having uh, uh, grown up primarily in a city. And well, then, <laughs> you're the perfect. You wanted to become a cowboy, you're in Melbourne. Why don't you pursue that on the side? You know, it's a hobby, pastime, you know, you know, you, you play golf, right? So, yeah. so maybe put the golf a little bit aside and go try to become a cowboy. <laughs> as soon as I get my horse, I'm going to try. <laughs> That's going to be really interesting, seeing Dr. Cadney's riding on the horse with a cowboy hat on. <laughs> but after I got through my cowboy phase, uh, what I really was interested in was basically the family business, which was construction. So I was always interested in building things, and, and still am. And uh, I, I get so much excitement out of a, a design, planning, design, and construction of a building, especially on this campus. And, and I'm sure we'll talk about that as well. But uh, I've always been interested in building things. So civil engineering was the natural field for me to go into. And uh, then I, I migrated from that into larger building, city building. That's something really phenomenal. In, in, fa in fact, uh, um, that's what you're trying to do at Florida Tech, eventually uh, making new buildings and doing construction. We'll come back to the construction of Florida mm -hmm. Tech. But tell us, you know, give us uh, one story that comes to your mind, you know, in Rutgers that pops out, a college story, you know. Everyone sits and remembers their school life and their college life. Something, tell us a little mm -hmm. bit more about that so we can uh, get a better insight into Dr. Katney's rather than the president or someone, you know, we could relate to. So something... Uh, that's interesting. Uh, and, and now that you bring it up, it, maybe it's curious, but what I remember most uh, about Rutgers uh, was Army ROTC. Uh, it was a much bigger deal in, in those days. I'm talking about the mid-60s now. Difficult times. The Vietnam War was beginning to rev up. In those days, uh, all students at Rutgers had to take two years of a ROTC and then the second two years were voluntary. And I have such fond memories of my time in ROTC. It's something, the whole uh, idea is to, you know, find out more about you as a person. We all have seen you in action as the president, but, you know, mm -hmm. the whole idea is to get a better insight into you mm -hmm. as a person. And so the students can relate to you more uh, in this aspect. At this point, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. We'll find out which books Dr. Katneys have written and a little bit more about that. Still in conversation with Dr. Anthony James Katneys. Don't go anywhere.